Born on September 14, 1950 in Chingola, Shem Michael Mlevu, also known as Keith Mlevu, was the only son of Mr. and Mrs. Mlevu. He was a highly accomplished musician whose name pops up on the world scene in general and in Zambia in particular. A naturally gifted artist, Keith was barely 13 years old when he started hanging around older musicians from Chingola in a group called the Dynamite Mixes, led by Godwin Agudu Chimenya. He graduated from playing tin banjos in Kabundi North to honing his skills on the electric guitars and drums while helping out as a roadie. Together with his friend Teddy Kuluzwa, aka Dr. Footswitch, he formed his first band, Dynamagic, which played whenever the Dynamite mixes were on a break at the then exclusive Changa Hotel. After Agudu left Chingola, the mixes renamed as the Tones eventually broke up. Keith, Teddy, Joe Piri, and Jerry Mausala took over Nchanga Hotel as the New Orleans band. In 1969, the youngsters stormed Lusaka where they recruited drummer Baldwin Watson Longo to become the Ray Five, a captivating teeny rock group modeled after the Rolling Stones. The Ray Five were unsurpassed when they scooped first prize at the Mini Woodstock Festival held at Jubilee Hall Osaka Showgrounds in 1969. The following year, they splintered with Keith forming a three-piece band called The End. It featured bassist Ricky Banda and drummer Ellie White Zulu. Popular around Chingola and Chilawombwe entertainment circuit, they went on to win the first prize during the 1971 Zambia Agriculture and Commercial Show Battle of the Bands contest. Later, they undertook a residential tour of Zaire, now Congo DR, where Keith and Ricky Banda were pursued by Tabule's Orchestra Afrisa International Band. On return from Lubumbashi, the end disbanded, where Keith, Watts, and Mausala reunited to form Macbeth in 1972. Immediately, Macbeth broke up in 1973. The star-studded Aqualang was born in Mufulira, with Keith on lead, Ricky Banda on bass, Jax Kasuba on drums, Teddy Kuluzwa on vocals and guitar, and Cosmos Zani on the organ. It was during this same period that Keith also enrolled for his diploma in music at Evelyn Horn College. There, he would later be retained as a lecturer in 1976. Keith turned solo in 1975, launching his best-seller Zamrock album, Banna Fimbusa, recorded at Lusaka ZBS Studios soon after his debut Humanism promo single. You, Me and the Other Fellow, reissued by ZNBC in 2009, the album still rocks out his modernized traditional music gems like the Yense, Kong 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 Kuchivi, Banna Fimbusa, Zikolino ni Zambia, Wema Yotu Lachula, Mwana Opanda Bambo. His second album, Love and Freedom, was recorded at Sapra Studios, Nairobi, and issued by Teal Record Company in 1976. It carried vital social messages, like Fuevana Nomba, talking about the youth's moral decay, Weleni Mokumunshi, and other tracks included Ubuntu Ngwa, Inkongole Tashiwama, I'm Your Star, and My Gun. This folk rock classic album was reissued in France on the Warner Electra Atlantic label in 1978. Keith recorded and produced his third and fourth albums Through Fire to Heaven and Touch of the Sun at DB Studios Lusaka and Malachite Film Studio in Chingola respectively. In 1977, Through Fire to Heaven earned Keith his first and only victory over Ricky Lilonga in the local music media polls and live contests after previously finishing second to his arch rival for two consecutive years as the best solo artist. The album would also finish second to Ngozi Family's UK recorded heavy metal in the 1978 polls. His last album, Touch of the Sun, was released in 1979. Keith continued performing live with bands he was mentoring in Mufulira and Chingola, New Aqualang, Mulungushi Beat, and The Archangels. He also ventured into film, recording the music score for a short ZCCM docudrama for a secure future in which he starred as a pickpocket. Eventually, in 1983, he was employed as a sound engineer at ZCCM Malachite Film Studios, replacing his mentor and Chingola townmate, 
the Zambian folk legend Emmanuel Mulemena after his demise in 1982. Creator of inarguably Zambia's most popular patriotic anthem, the evergreen Ubuntu Ngwa, Keith died on March 5, 1988 at Luansha Mine Hospital. He left behind a daughter named Vivian and wife Matilda.